What's up, viewers? This is the Resident Evil Gamer Plus Lore Manga Relong here, and I'm here for a character explanation video. You see, this is for the third part of the one I'm making right now for the follow up of I Eat Pasta for Breakfast. So, shall we go over it? I think we shall. Alright, let's go. You see, just like any other ordinary day, right? There's this girl named Jessica Sedrise. And fuck, hold on. You won't believe me if I don't put the E in there, huh? I just forgot about that. It's going to be spelled a really weird way because I forgot about it. But hey, you guys will be able to tell, right? Okay. It's like any other ordinary day. Jessica said rise age 13. Her uh, gender is female. So she's walking about. Having a nice day. I'll explain all this when I make the third part. But you can see, hold on, you can see that uh, I made her shoes and feet right here. Jessica said rise age 13, sex female, and she comes in at Soul Fear Feeder Part 3. You can tell that she's not normal, and these things that I wrote down, uh, yeah, it's gonna be in there at some point. She's not normal because her, uh, Body is getting taken over by the new creepypasta, which she becomes a part of. Right here, you can see that she has a lot of blood on her here, here, her arms, and everywhere. Her hair was originally black, and now it's all red over here and got blood on it. That, uh, let's see, where can I find the pink thing? Yeah, that pink thing right there is her mouth. This black thing. And her eyes and stuff ain't normal. No. She was a normal girl. And. Went to uh, the school bathroom. And as she realized something. Because she felt so sick down to her stomach. As she realized something. She had to go throw up. And then she looked in the mirror. And it wasn't her reflection. It was Tomaki Fisher's reflection. A girl that is the new creepy pasta, and yes, Slender Man's in there, and all kinds of other stuff. So, the character way that she goes through is from the first day to where she doesn't see her reflection to the next day, she falls asleep in a math class. And one of her friends, this is why I'm right down, says, Hey, said, said, she just wakes up chokes the living crap out of him until she realizes that she's just woken up from sleep. She goes down to the office and this is where all the scratches come in. Her eyes turn, because her eye color is obviously white and it's blue. So her pupil color is normal. But as she realizes, she gets red eyes from the white and then it goes back to normal. I'll explain this probably in a different video. But this is for character analysis. For part 3. As she realizes it. She sneaks out of the principal office or whatever. And I don't know. She goes home. And is not feeling too well to go to school the next day. She realizes it. There's all kinds of scratches on her arms and stuff. And the voice from Tom Key Fisher is just getting worse and worse and worse. Here. This is even one part that she says. I'll make this like a little bit later in part three. She says, My head hurts, Tom Key. Get out of my body. Now, I know that seems far-fetched. But trust me. This is going to be some crazy shit. Uh, I guess I should have made like a season one analysis or something. 
Because this is a follow-up after I eat pasta for breakfast. After Lazari figured out that the reason she didn't have any friends was because of her inner demon. And then obviously it ends with Stripes hugging her and stuff. So what happened after all that? Only time will tell. Obviously. Huh. I don't know. Just It's just going to get worse and worse for this poor character here. Honestly, even though I'm making the character, I feel so bad for her. It's just really sad what happens to her. And then, uh, what? Um, if you guys want, I can do the uh, opening song or something. I'm just going to have to write it down first. It's probably going to be a separate video too. But... She uh, bangs her head on the wall of her, like, her bedroom window. This is, uh, Jessica Sedris. She bangs her head on the wall over and over, and nothing stops. She can't even feel pain anymore. So that black stuff you saw near her mouth was just, this is going to be in one part, and this is going to sound so messed up. She, uh, it get it covers her mouth to where she can't talk. She has to talk in her head, and her mouth disappears, and she can no longer have it. It's like a, I don't know what you would call it, but it's something that would cover your mouth and permanently be there. Well, until her mouth turns into a like monster mouth and stuff, so. She ain't gonna be human. No. You can officially say this is part one of the third part of Soul Fear Feeder for Jessica Sedrise. One of the main characters in the whole franchise. That is a big, big, big accomplishment and just a big meaning in the story. I can't get the right word out. Oh, a big issue in the story. There we go. But. Like I said. Just. Hang in there, man. Just hang in there and. We're all going to be safe in the COVID world. But like I always say. Peace. Have a good night. And skedaddled out of here. This has been part one of Jessica Said Rise's analysis and how her life will become a living hell.